Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to talk about field enclosures in Flask WTF. So this is part of my Flask extensions course on my website. So if you wanna check out the other videos in that course after you finish watching this video, you can click the link in the description below and it will take you to this course. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions after watching the video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks. So similar to how you can reuse parts of a form over and over again in different forms, sometimes you can use reuse the same fields inside of a form multiple times. So the typical example for this is telephone numbers. So let's say you have a form that asks a user for multiple telephone numbers like a cell phone number, a home phone number, a work phone number, and any other phone numbers they may have. You'll end up using the same fields over and over again. So if you want to prevent that from taking up a lot of code, you can use something called field enclosures. So field enclosures are pretty easy to use and they're pretty similar to how you use a regular form inheritance. So first, let me create a new form and I'll call this a telephone form. So class telephone form. And as you can guess, this form is going to have uh, information about telephones, telephone numbers. So one of the things that you need to watch out for here is this form actually won't inherit from anything. So you would think you want to use Flask form. But if you remember in the last video, I told you, you will only want to use one Flask form per form. Otherwise, things will mess up. So instead of using Flask form, you want to use the regular form that you can use inherit from uh, WT forms. So from WT forms, in addition to these fields, I'm going to import simply form. So just keep that in mind, one flask form per form. And then I'm going to have a few fields here. So let's say country code, and it's going to be an integer, country code. And then I'll have an area code, also an integer. And area code goes there. And then finally, I'll have the regular number. And since this will allow for dashes, I'll make it a string field number. All right, so that part is easy enough. Well, what if we want to add the telephone fields to, let's say, the login form? How do we do that? Well, instead of recreating each one of those three fields each time, let's say I have a home phone number. I'm going to use something called a form field. So instead of like a string field or a Boolean field or an integer field, I'm using form field. So I need to import this form field. And then here, I'll simply pass in telephone form. So telephone form, let me name it that. So it's complete. Telephone phone form. Yeah, there should only be one phone there. All right, so telephone form is what I was trying to get at. So that will add the home phone field. So let's see what happens when I just do it this way. So inside of my template, let me add each one of those things. And since this isn't quite the same style as the other fields, I'm just going to uh, add it directly here. So let's say well, you know what, it's not a huge deal. I won't have errors in the typical sense, but I can add it. So form dot home phone. And let's see what happens. This is going to probably mess up and I'll explain why when it does. So refresh and is my app running? So telephone form is not defined. So Let's see, telephone form is not defined. And that's simply because it should go before the declaration of login form. So easy error to fix. It executes from top to bottom. So let me try that again. All right, so now it's working. And now it actually appears. Um, it's not the best looking style, but it has the three fields that I'm interested in. So I have a country code, an area code, and a number. So down here, instead of returning the existing data that I was used to returning, instead I'll just simply return the data for the telephone. So H1, and let's see, I have country code. I have area code. 
and then I have number. So to access this data, it's fairly straightforward. Um, format form dot home phone dot and then you use the other field so country code and then data so let's just take a look at that one so I'll leave these blank just to demonstrate and secrets these don't need a value so one two 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 and then here's just a random phone number submit and I see country code one so of course it follows the same format so I'll just copy and paste here so two more values so instead of country code it would be area code and instead of country code there it'll simply be number and I can add these back and now when I view this and submit so password is secret country code one area code two 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 and just some random number shall all be numbers submit I get each one of the values so country code one area code two 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 and the number is three four 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 eight four eight so that's fairly straightforward when I'm using uh, just one but what if I wanted another field for say mobile number so a mobile phone is equal to form field telephone form and then in my template I'll do the same thing so mobile phone is what I named it right yeah mobile phone and then I will refresh and now we see a new section has appeared for the mobile phone number and it works in exactly the same way if I want to access those values I'll simply get form.mobilephone.countrycode.data and so on. So it follows the same pattern, but since it's kind of um, a composition of two things, you just have the extra attribute that you have to look into first. So form.homephone, then country code, and then you can get the data. But everything else works exactly the same. So if I change this to mobile phone, but leave everything for home phone, let's just take a look at what happens. So secret. Home phone country code will be one, two, 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 and then I'll use the same number. Mobile phone country code will be two. I'll use three, 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 and five, 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 five. All right, so I should see two for the country code for mobile phone because that's what I specified in return. And then I should see the values for area code and number from the home phone. So I'll submit that. And I see two, and then I see two, 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 which was from home phone, and then three, four, 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 eight, four, eight from home phone as well. But this two is from the mobile phone. So it's pretty easy to use the uh, field enclosures. So that's a, an easy way to save on code inside of a form if you're using the same field over and over again. And like I said, a telephone is the most common, but if you can figure out another use case, then just go ahead and use field enclosures.